Well, hello everyone. Happy Wednesday. Hope everyone's doing well. I wanted to, uh, it's been a while since I posted a video because I've had a lot of, lot of things going on um, work-wise. All of the refineries are pushing to get me at different locations and um, a lot of things going on and trying to prepare for the things I need to do at home. Of course, all of our preps are purchased. We don't really need to go to a store at all. Um, but I wanted to uh, make a video because I received my letter uh, from one of the agencies I worked for. And I think a lot of people that are what they're calling, quote, essential um, members that need to stay at work um, are getting. So this letter was distributed from one of my agencies and I figured I'd read it today. And it says, to whom it may concern, this letter is titled, Letter of Confirmed Essential Business Access. It says, to whom it may concern, this letter of access indicates that the person in possession of the document is an employer or contractor of bleep and working in and in support of an essential industry. In the interest of the welfare of residents and businesses in the area affected by a condition related to COVID-19 and maintaining essential supply chains, it is critical to assure continued operations as safe conditions allow. For this purpose, law enforcement officers and emergency management officials charged with the responsibility of oversight and access control at areas affected by restrictions imposed as a part of an overall strategy to contain the COVID-19 are respectfully asked to grant this employee of bleep with proper photographic identification and as safe conditions allow approval to cross police lines, roadblocks, and control points in direct support of activities to maintain safe and efficient operations. This letter is valid from March the 24th to August the 31st of 2020. Thank you for your cooperation. The validation purposes are questions concerning this letter of access. Please contact our health and safety department at Bleep. So, they're not blocking any roads here as of now. Um, they've said on TV that they're not going to hinder or block interstate traffic or road closures. And um, people can travel without any officer stopping them and asking if they're part of an essential uh, member or employee that, um, that, that has been granted, the, uh, granted access. So this is kind of concerning because you know, as I'm looking at this, you know, and also looking around me, seeing the typical daily traffic everywhere, people shopping at stores, going to gas stations, um, there's so many places that are essential, you got to wonder what is a shelter in place. You know, Louisiana right now is under shelter in place, so there's very, you know, minimum um, companies that are closed. Um, I'm looking at the car lot across, I guess they're called essential, um, they're open. All our lumber yards are open. Um, everything's open, except for restaurants. You know, some restaurants, the drive through restaurants are open, which you can get something without going in. But you can still go to a restaurant and order your food, and uh, some of them let you go inside to pick it up. Some will bring it to you. You're still transmitting. You still has a possibility of transferring the virus from package to you. So I'd be mindful of that. You know, some are telling everyone to, um, you know, help your businesses out, go to these drive-throughs. But you know, if if you've prepped and you got the food at home, eat it at home, and stop going to all of these places to eat. Reduce your chances of picking this thing up. But back to the letter. When I look at this, I see more control coming. It hasn't gotten here yet uh, in, in, um, in depth over here, but Louisiana, as you know, where our debts are climbing, 
drastically from when it started you know we're we have a fast rate of infection that they're finding you know um, we're over a thousand in cases um, we over 30 in debts um, but I also see you know there's there's something just not right about these letters that everybody are getting you know it's kind of like they're on the forefront they're getting prepared for what's coming um, somebody knows something that they're the in the government that's telling these agencies to start issuing these letters um, it almost makes me um, think about what's going on in China what China went through because China you know you had your permit for travel and you know you were you, you had to show this to the guards for all of these places that they're blocking the roads and are these towns that won't let you in I mean are we coming to that and we just don't know yet um, gosh you know just seeing it you know and all of these places got this six foot rule staying um, away from each other um, you know social distancing is what they call it but when I go in all, all of these shops that I go to they're not no one's enforcing this stuff so as a as an employer you you should you you put these signs up I don't know what they're putting these signs up for what just to satisfy what um, you know to for legality purposes hey yeah we told you because there's nobody enforcing when I'm looking at all of these guys working together this six inches from each other talking in their ears or um, you know just touching shaking every is it's like people are trying to act like this isn't really real um, they look at me and they laugh because when I come in there I come in there with gloves and I come in here with N95 mask so I'm supplied with that so I'm I, I, I use it and I use it at every place. So some people joke and laugh, you know, they might take a picture of me with the mask on. I'm the only one in the facility with the mask. You know, surprisingly, when I go into our Kroger or our Walmart, there's a number of people in there, but it, I don't, you know, I, I, I see others with it. Not many, but I'll see one here and then one there uh, wearing a mask or there's not many that are actually um, wearing safety equipment when they go inside these stores in these public places. When I get fuel, I get fuel with my gloves on because that is, man, if you think about it, when you put your hand on that fuel pump, who else has put their hand on that fuel pump? And who before him? And who before him? And who before him? It, You've got to make sure that this is a, this is totally different than what we're used to, you know? Um, You've got to take your precautions so you don't bring this home to your family. My family stays at home. They don't go anywhere. So if it comes to my home, it's because I brought it. And that's, you know, that, that's been on my conscience for, for days. You know, that, you know, if it happens at my home, it's because I brought it. So i got to take the precautions for my family. And so do you, you know. Um... Don't forget about the shoes that you wear. You know, you're walking all day long if you're out and about. When you get home, you know, Walmart makes these little pans, these little boot trays. Uh, get one, add some bleach and water in, in the bottom so when you get home, you can step into it. Take your, take your shoes, take your boots off, and just leave them sitting inside this water to disinfect the bottoms. Because people walk around spitting on the ground. Um... I mean, you know, if you're walking all over the place, you can pick up these this virus and it'll sit on the soles of your shoes. And then you walk inside the house with the shoes you had on and now you've put it inside your home and then one of your child, your, your children walk up, step on it, and then next thing you know, it's everywhere. Take the precautions because, um, you know, there's a lot of people that just don't have a biocontainment room at their home but I think they should have some type of hot zone that you could actually change your 
your clothing from the day because it can sit on your clothes as well. Um, you know, what I do is when I, I go straight and, you know, get, get cleaned up. You know, so, I mean, there's so many flaws in trying to make sure you completely um, eliminate any chance in, in our everyday life of being able to pick this up. But anything that you can do to help yourself, you need to. Okay, guys, just want to let you know about the letter. I'm sure a lot of others have starting to receive them. Um, I think there's something bigger that's happening that we don't know. I think the NWO is um, <clears throat> is involved as well. Um, I, I don't know because yesterday our social media we've seen a number of I didn't see it personally but a number of people have posted um, that they've saw military jets because we live on the I-10 corridor which is close to the Gulf of Mexico and and they seen military jets flying south like they were traveling towards the Gulf and they weren't traveling fast but they the, the formation that they were in were was in a single line you know and every five to ten seconds you'd see the next one and people have counted up to 20 of them uh, flying be you know one in front of the other uh, every five to ten seconds the next one would pass you know why would they do that you know uh, maybe to not be conspicuous you know that people wouldn't notice that there was 10 jets flying all together uh, side by side um, so it's something that's we normally don't see that here because there's nothing but the Gulf when they're tra traveling south from the I-10 corridor unless they get to the coastline and turn or I don't know it's just strange stuff is going on uh, keep your head on the swivel Watch your surroundings. Um, I have a police scanner to monitor all of our local traffic, and um, I'm hearing a, the traffic starting to pick up more. I'm prior law enforcement, so I can make out what they're talking about. Um, and there's a lot of things happening. And you, even if it's a disturbance call at home, at, at a home or if last night they dispatched, like, I, I, I would think that what they call 9, 1097 which means arrived at the scene um, probably about seven units arrived at the scene at a location in the cor on a corner um, in a town that's close to us so it you know the the things are uh, getting a little bit more hectic out here and I'm sure that the police officers uh, you know hats off to all of them Appreciate all what they do, the firefighters, the EMS crews, because they got a load on their shoulders. And guys, if you see these guys walking by you, uh, anyone that's in the public safety field, just tell them thank you for their service because they're really going through a lot right now. They may not show it because they, they're supposed to keep their composure, but um, they have families too, and they got to go home to them. And now with the reports, they're starting to see firefighters uh contracting the virus and police officers contracting this virus um, they got to be there so there are a vital <laughs> essential role 24 hours around the clock that they have to be there and they put their lives on the line every day so um, hats off to those guys and uh, wish them well and thank them when you see them you know that's all I have for today this was just supposed to be about the letter but I got carried away um, hope everyone's doing well and staying safe um, keep your PPE in check every day think about it before you even leave the house did I do this did I do that when you go get fuel make sure you protect yourself when you're getting fuel before you touch that nozzle press a button um, make sure if you have Germex or something to sanitize your hands do it Clorox wipes work well as well I even have that with me I have Clorox wipes and I have the little mini um, hand sanitizers to keep with me um, so um, get your stuff together if you don't have it stay home you know if you if you can at all possible stay home stay away from all this stuff all right if you can help someone help someone ten dollars twenty dollars whatever you know if you can if you're still working and the others aren't and twenty dollars goes a little ways for someone that would brighten their day up you know, help somebody out. 
God bless all of y'all, and we'll see you on the next one.